Good evening from Paris, France. You're watching a quarterfinal match from the French Open by Predator 2015 edition. It's a Benelux clash. No Brunoiga of Belgium coming up against Luigi C of the Netherlands. I'm Joe Chance here with Christophe Monzin. Hi everybody. Hi everybody back to to the tournament. It's a quarterfinal game between Noel and UG. It's gonna to be a great game, I think. Two good very good players on the table for this uh, for this match. Race to nine. Yeah. Playing nine ball of course. Nine ball is on the spot. Alternate Euro breaks. Rules. Yeah. Euro tour rules, that's right. Three balls must pass the head string on the break or it's an illegal break and control passes. Maybe Joe you can make a little statement of the other games. Yeah, just to, before we get underway here, give you a rundown of some of the other action going on on the scores. Currently on another last sixteen match, Imran Majid is leading seven six against Aziz Musati. It's pretty pretty tight game. Imran was up a few racks, but Aziz has managed to pull back to within one and is now shooting in rack 14. Alex Montpellier, 4 3 up against Patrick Stetkiewicz. Vincent Faquet, 5 2 up against Ivel Markov. And in a possible surprise, Nick Vandenberg trailing 7 2 against Joao Cordaz Cardozo of Portugal. I told you for Joao, very good player. Yeah, one to watch, definitely. So here we are for the opening rack. Yeah, and it uh, presents interesting situation with the two close to the nine ball there by the top right hand corner pocket. No one's going to be playing safe. Just tied that cue ball up pretty nice to the nine ball. Okay. Tough match to call this one. Both high quality oh, players. Yeah. Noel uh, has been impressive in this tournament so far. He had a notably in a 9 5 victory over Imran Majid yesterday. But Imran wasn't at his best, so. I'm going to, to bet to on, uh, on UG. Um, Noel is. Uh, He's a great competitor. He's uh, he's always on his best in this tournament. He used to play there, but you see, uh, a lot at, has a lot of experience. Um, maybe with more uh, more tools and more weapons in uh, his hands. So yeah, he's come through a couple of matches against English players. Today, this morning, he won 9-1 against Paul Taylor. And then later on, he was, was just beaten Robin Cripps 9-6, sending the English on their way back across the channel. <laughs> yeah, Robin, Meanwhile, very nice player, very cool guy. And he made uh, the qualification, the Group C, and he reached the last 16 of the tournament, so that uh, a pretty, pretty good performance from him. Huiji, meanwhile, won 9-6 in the last round against Chris Seville, also of the UK. In the round before, he won 9-1 against Michel Natali of France. That's, that's a good result also. 9-1 against Michel. That's right. Now, is there an opportunity to play the early combo here? Mm -hmm. Two way shot with a safety in the same time. Yeah, yeah I think he's going to make it off oh the wow. rail. Wow, very nice, very nice choice. And a very good result for him for this opening rack. 1 0 Noel. Yeah, as you said, Christophe Noel is a regular fixture in the Predator French Open and the pre previous op Open tournaments which are taking place here in France. Yeah, Matador. Travelling from 
his hometown in Belgium. Mm -hmm. Well established on the Euro Tour as well. Yeah. PGC is a former Temple World Champion, so you know we're talking about real, real top quality players here. Semi final places at stake. Some of the last 16 matches are still going on. That's why this is the first of the quarterfinals to get underway. We're going to see Mark Bistebosch. He's going to play the winner of the match between Nick Vandenberg and Joao Cardozo. Could be either man, but at the moment it's looking like Joao is the favorite to go through. Tony Drago is waiting for the winner of Alex Montpellier against Patrick Stetkiewicz. And the last quarterfinal will be to between either Imran Majid and or Aziz Musata and either Vincent Fake or Ivelo Markov. As we see PGC make a nice cross corner bank what a shot. on the two ball. What a shot. And Did an you see this photo? Impressive three ball. Wow. Lovely cue ball control. And just before we play a bank, in order to have a nice position of the three. Wow. Watch the cue ball here. Oh. Yeah, he played some lovely shots, but now yeah. it's uh, gone to waste. And he played very quickly, this one. You see? Yeah. He made a great shot on the free, and, uh, and after maybe two, uh, two aiming. Yeah, I think, he wanted to, I think he wanted to get a contact on the long rail and yeah. just didn't get the draw action out of the cue ball that he was looking for. Sure. Ended up scratching in the top right-hand corner. With a five ball layout remaining, you'd have to say this is an excellent chance for Noel to mm, open up a two rack one. advantage. Short one. You can get the, the correct angle to, to reach an easy six, an easy seven. Yeah, it's amazing how many times we see that with ball in hand players managing to come unstuck with position. Bank, 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 bank. No bank, Joe? I don't see the bank. <laughs> if you can find one, uh, yeah. I'm happy to accept. Uh, hey, boys. Uh, just kidding about my mate. Uh, he's, he's a fan of the bank, but uh, on that We're not playing bank board today. Yeah, sure. That situation, maybe a, a safety, trying to put the six behind the seven. And, uh, and control uh, the speed of the cue ball. Maybe play fin on the six, but I'm not sure for that. I went for the cut. Made it and played the good contact on the seven. He actually knocked the seven ball into the pocket as well. Double value for Noel Bruno there. Impressive cut on the six. Cuba went up to contact the seven and now he's shooting at the eight ball. Looks set to double his lead. Despite slight positional error. Zero at the start of the match. Long way to go, of course, in this race to nine. We've seen some impressive comeback wins in this tournament so far, so you know that nine ball pull. It's not over till the fat lady sings. hard to pick a winner from the field still remaining in this event such an impressive array of talent on show I'd say uh, 
an even higher quality field than last year's first edition of the Predator French Open. We've had a few more players traveling from abroad to participate. Of course, good news for the event. Hopefully the next edition can be even bigger and better in 2016. Thanks to Predator Qs for being the title sponsor of this event. No one made the one ball on the side, I believe, on the break. But only the three passed the head string, so it's an illegal break. And Huey GC comes to the table, shooting at the two. Takes on a thin cut. Leaves it hanging. It would have been good on the three. As it happens, passes the table back to Noel, who's now going to have to look at shooting this rail first. We're actually running a little ahead of schedule this evening. Quarterfinal matches were expected to start at 8 p.m. The matches have been quicker than the allocated time. We're well, it's good news for us. We're running ahead of schedule. We're going to have the quarterfinal here, then the remaining quarterfinal matchups, followed by, of course, the semi finals and the final. Noel tried to cut that in, Ralph first. Didn't make any contact with the blue two ball. Just ball in hand for his opponent. Dutchman Fiji C. One of a number of young Dutch talents being nurtured in the uh, world of pool in the Netherlands. Thirty four years old now. World Temple champion a few years ago, as we said. And certainly a big contender to win this event. balls remaining. Cue ball's going to be heading over to the long rail on the right hand side of the table after this shot. Wants it to bounce back out in order to have the eight ball into the top right corner. Might be looking at having the cue ball round about where the seven ball is at the moment, maybe a little bit higher. It's a surprising miss. A couple of errors from UGC in the early stages. Big scratch on a draw stroke previously, which allowed Noel Brodnick to run out. And there, a simple missed seven ball. He missed it by quite a long way, actually. Think out on the seven. Watch out. Danger of getting behind the nine there, but he's just about okay, I believe. sure he wanted to be on that side of the nine but cue ball just drifted fast and far enough for him to have a shot opportunity and now he looks good to take a 3-0 lead 
what a run he's having in this tournament so far. No Brunig took the scalp of Imran Majid on day one, the 9-5 win. If he could eliminate Hui GC in the quarterfinal, it'd certainly be well within chance of going all the way. Yeah, the last 16 matches are drawing to a close. Imran Majid has just sealed a 9-6 win of Aziz Musati. Vincent Fake is on the hill at 8-2 against Ivano Markov. Fake was a finalist, losing finalist last year. Led 6-0 against Carl Boys in the final before going on to lose 9-6. Extra motivation, I guess, to go all the way this time and not fall at the final hurdle. And again, frustration for QGC on the break. No balls down. One ball sitting pretty nicely for Noel. Score is 3 0, by the way. Seems to be having a technical issue with the score at the bottom of the screen. But I can assure you. You're not seeing things. It is 3 0. Well, Cardozo is on the hill against Nick Vandenberg at 8 4. Meanwhile, the other final last 16 match between Alex Montpellier and Patrick Stepkevich is finally poised at 4 4. Quarterfinals starting to take shape. Joao Cardozo, who's gone through, has defeated Nick Vandenberg. Nine four. One of the favourites has fallen there. Certainly leaves the tournament open for other players who may be less well renowned than Nick Vandenberg and the likes of Imran Majid, Tony Drago. Could be on course for a surprise winner. Noel's played himself into a little bit of trouble here on the five ball. That's Alex Montpellier from France. You can see shooting on the left hand side of the screen. Noel just waited for him to play his shot before coming back to the table. He's going to be looking at a safety option here. Cutting that five ball thin and sending the cue ball down two rails to the middle of the table. foul. You can see his frustration. Huiji swerved into that five at a slow speed and no cushion after the contact means a foul. And well, could be looking at a 4-0 scoreline by the next time he gets to the table. Just the five balls remaining on the table. much like a training exercise for no this kind of pattern ball in hand five balls on the table back him to 
run this out probably at least 80 if not 90 percent of the time what do you think of the start from Noel in this match then uh, Christoph? Zero zero was that they're just kidding okay I saw I saw the we have a, a technical issue on that oh UG is uh, starting slowly and um, he has to he has to come into this game very quickly now Noel is uh, he's not player he's a solid player and he's in front of the of the game on is a score is for him and with a huge margin it's gonna have to be hard to catch what do you think of the chances of the remaining Frenchman in the tournament then Christophe who is remaining well Alex Montpellier is currently 5-4 up in his last 16 match. Oh, and Vincent nothing, Fake is nothing done. through to play Imran Majid. He's just beaten Ivo Markov. Oh, Ivo. Your club mate. Yeah. Had a good run to the last 16. I think he that can be satisfied not, there's, with there's a, couple a, bad, uh, not a, a couple of big scalps that he there's took. Yeah, it's not a bad result at the end. Uh, he played Nick on the TV table yesterday, he played yeah. Stefan today. Uh, so, no. Beat Del Sim of England as well. And a it's a good re it's a win. pretty good result yeah. for, for Maybe him. Maybe just ran out of steam coming out against uh, Vincent in the last 16. Mm -mm. Vincent is, uh, yeah, he's very motivated because uh, he he lost. You you you, you told you, you told that he, do, he lost in the final last year against our right. boys, but the second fact, and you have to take that into account, uh, he expected to be top seed, one of the full top seed of the tournament, and he was on he was selected only on the seventh place, seventh place for the by the organization, and he was not happy about that. So he is to showing to everybody that. He was runner-up last year, and he deserved better than the, 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 the seventh position on the board. Uh, so, yeah, you can't doubt the class of uh, Vincent Fake. We see it every time he's playing in a tournament in France. He's always one of the top contenders. And yes, got a, uh, a great career behind him to date. The the problem for for Vincent is that he's going to have to play Imran. And uh, Imran is not the player to take, I think, in this board. Um, so, so it's gonna ha be hard to for him. But he, if he if he can do something against Imran, he can he can also win the tournament. So, what about Alex? If he can get through oh. his um, match against, uh, you know, I'm not Stankiewicz. sure for Alex. I'm not sure for Alex. Uh, He's not, he's not regular enough, I think, to be uh, the winner of this tournament. He's uh, struggling against uh, some different players there, winning by two or by one or by three, or, but not more. Um, that's not the best Alex we, we can have, I think, at the beginning of the season. That's not the best one. Had a second place finish in the national tournament. Yeah, here but uh, last he, he, he but won this a, is a different kettle of fish, I guess. And he won a couple of games with, uh, with, oh, not with, with Fortune, I think. He wasn't playing very good, but the other, the, the other, the other guy no, didn't play good also, and uh, he was lucky that uh, the other one was at the best in the moment at this at this moment. So. To me, that's not the best Alex Montpellier we, uh, we, could, we could have. So that's why it's not my favorite. But it's a very nice player, of course. Of course he is. But you have to choose or to pick big players. And you, uh, we are, take Joao Cardozo. I told, you, I told you that this guy is, isn't a, a big outsider for the tournament. 
And he just bet Nick Vandenberg with a big margin. So, very hard to tell the future yeah. of this tournament. Any one of the players remaining in the last day is going to be in with mm. a chance. And if I have to bet something, if you have to predict something to me, the winner of the game between Imran and Vincent will win this tournament. You heard it here first, people. Bold prediction from Christophe Monza. Meanwhile, in rack five of our live encounter, Noel made an absolutely beautiful break at the start of the rack. Made a, a couple of balls, had the cue ball in a lovely position in the center of the table. He, he ran out of position on the five, however, and had to play safe. Fiji got down on the kick shot. He didn't really take a lot of time to look at the contact points on the rails, where he was going to make contact with the cue ball. He shot it pretty quick and sold out a shot. And Noel now looks poised to extend his lead even further to a 5-0 advantage. And he would have put Huiji perhaps as a slight favorite before the start of this match. Now, Noel's got to be favorite at 5-0 up. Racing to nine. Simple nine ball, cut into the corner pocket now for Noel. It's going to be stretching a little bit on the shot across the table. Does he take the rest? No, he's going to shoot it stretching across the table. Looking pretty good now for the Belgian man. Yeah. But the things can change. Uh, okay. Five up on this game. Juji need uh, some good rolls after break, the break, and uh, also during the frames, and uh, he can maybe catch up a little uh, and Noel, and uh, we don't know. But 5-0 is a big, big advantage for Noel. Yeah, Huey G hasn't really got started in this match so far. Yeah. Just one last 16 match still being played. That's the match between Frenchman Alex Montpellier and Paul Patrick Stetkiewicz. Yeah. Currently at 6-4. Six 6-4 four. Six four. Six four for Alex, but watch out Patrick. Uh, yeah, he's a great player. Yeah, solid, solid one and uh, not going to give up. So Alex has to play good. Yeah, he's got the support of the home audience here in Replay Club. And only be our team. Yeah. yeah. Alex is a member of the e billiard team. He's really worked hard on his American pool game in the last few years. Used to play a lot of flat ball, I believe. English style eight ball. So all of the team is behind Alex. Where he is, who is working? <laughs> who is working? Who is behind the screen? <laughs> Just us, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, no, nobody be, uh, at, the, at the tournament director place. Okay. All the eyes on the table six where yeah, Alex is playing. Your eyes off of the action. Yeah. And Noel is in a prime position again in this rack. Got the better of the opening exchanges and now shooting at the two with a pretty open table. Four looks to pass the five into the bottom right. It's quite straight here. I think it is, yeah, 
pretty straight. That's pretty obvious. We can, you can you can play with a big draw, but he, oh no, he doesn't seem to be straight. He seems to have a, a, a little angle. Allowed him to do uh, this follow and to have a nice angle on the on the free. Watch on the contact with the uh, six. You have to avoid it. He's going to draw to avoid the contact on the six ball. Yeah. And the four is clear on the, the bottom right corner, so... Can't see any problems here. No. So it looks like the quarterfinal is going to have a very international feel to it. We've got already a Portuguese player, Dutch player, Maltese player, French player, English player. and either a French or a Polish player. So we could have up to seven nationalities represented in the quarterfinals. That's pretty good for a European tournament. Yeah. If I win, we will have two French guys. Yeah, that's right. And it's 7-4 now. Yeah, the... French fans will be delighted if Montpellier can see out this victory over his Polish opponent. Wow, that's uh, a situation for a 6-0 for Noel. Very surprising, honestly. I mean, that's not signed ball and uh, both players are, are very good, so well, a, such, a such gap between the two is uh, very surprising. He hasn't made a single error so far, no. And you see Huiji concedes with two balls, three, three balls, balls even yeah. remaining <laughs> on the table. Noel's playing pretty flawless pool so far. Yeah. Deserves fully to be up by six racks. Some of the players discussing techniques in front of us. Tony Drago, Paul Cardozo, and Iman Majid and Boris Vidakovic having a little discussion on Q power. Nice to see players of different countries exchanging pearls of wisdom, all in the context of the Predator French Open event. Here comes Noel, six up. PG hasn't got into the game at all. What no can you do when your opponent's playing perfect pool, though? As you said, no room for error. And UG uh, needs the perfect game from there. 0-6, alternate break. Wow. We need some good rolls also, nice. I think. Looking at looking at the where the cue ball would travel into the nine. Combo, carom mode. Would be a carom mode. A risky one. No. Likely to Pretty leave obvious something. one, I think. Pretty obvious one. Sure. With some draw on the on yeah, the cue ball. Yeah, to bring the cue ball back yeah. slightly. And With some draw. It's not. Not, not a lot. An obvious one, but not a lot, but uh, less than the. Hey, we are. Oh, God. And wow. Get a roll. Oh, wow. Wow. When it's your day, it's your day. When it's your match, it's your match because you know, one match is not the same than the the, the previous one. So. Made the seven ball, in the bottom right. You just squeezed past the five. Yeah. Now facing. He went, he, went for the, he went for the combo, so he needs speed, he got something. He's just going to look to hide that cue ball behind Maybe the three. Maybe it'll be short, no, not oh, short at good. all. <laughs> wow, just great shot. Just took a little nudge off the three and okay. great left shot. It. Perfect on the snooker and Fiji again is getting down on the shot straight away. He's very quick 
The shot is very quick. Wow. You see that? Do you see that? Very quick. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't go and look at the other side of yeah. the table. It's like his mind is not quite focused as it should be. Just stepped up, kicked, and well, he went straight into the six ball. Really poorly calculated. Yeah. You think that he's thinking about the the road? Yeah, to do to do for the to coming back, but to come back to wow. to Netherlands. It's I'm still just not kidding. Out of it, but That's, uh, uh, something strange happening yeah, is happening there. He's, uh, That's not his his usual rhythm and his usual routine when he's when he make a choice on the table and when he make a, a, a shot. So it's strange. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Played himself into trouble on the combination. Oh uh, yeah. He did have opportun options to shoot the two ball straight into a pocket yeah, rather than playing a combination. He was not he thick was enough. Thinking of the get clearing the five ball off the table and uh, yeah, but he was having an easier position from the four to the six. But in the end, overcomplicated things. He was thick enough. He wasn't thinking enough on the five, and yeah. the two go went away a little after contact. So that's why he doesn't have a, a position right now. And he's playing a safety shot, maybe short this time. Yeah, leaves the two ball for his Dutch opponent. It's a big guy. GC, pretty tall, imposing figure, makes the balls look pretty small on the table. So he wanders around. Yeah, and he's got a, a kind of poker face. He's not showing a lot of emotions, also. Yeah, maybe typical for Asian players, tend to not give too much away. I say Asian, of course, Asian yeah. origin. And well, that's just the story of yeah. this uh, quarterfinal summed up right there. He's playing very fast. Very yeah, he fast. He didn't even look at the no. third rail contact. He just ran into the ball on the side of the table. And that scratch in the side pocket is surely going to give Noel a 7 0 lead. The simplest of four ball runouts. And in fact, I think he's going to shoot the early combination on the nine. Kay. Sitting invitingly by the corner pocket there, so uh, could be even shorter. There you go. Noel Brunig is in seventh heaven at the moment. Wow. Seven nil up against the former world champion. What a story this would be. Yeah. If you could see the shutout. Wow. You don't expect to see uh, UG down by seven like that. But he things are coming from from him, I think so. I mean that he doesn't make all the he has to to make for for a, for a good performance and for a good result. Once again, he doesn't. Uh, he's staying on the on this side of the table. Yep, and he's got down to shoot straight away. Yeah. Not really, not really taking the time to yeah. walk around. Takes on a rash bank shot. Okay, oh, he's yeah. looped in the three on this occasion. But just uh, surprising to see him in such a hurry. Yeah. When you feel like you're not getting the rubber the green, you can feel like a lonely place out there on the table. Oh, maybe a little bit too quick on this one. He's got a good chance to pull one back here. It is okay. Eight ball might not pass the nine into the top right. So Hard top to left. Tell. Top yeah. left is a solution, yeah. He's finished kind of straight, kind of straight on this seven ball. So 
Might be following through a couple of rails. Out towards the center wow, of the table. Mind the other. little pocket. Wow. Wow. Flat in the disaster. Just going to roll this through now. Little nudge. Yeah, and God, 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 God. Wow. That's, yeah. uh, I mean, that's not just a miss. That was a miss mm. by a four diamond, I think. There. Yeah, that's not UGC. That's not him. It's an imposter. Yeah, that's not him. Uh, he's not there. That's all. And by the way, Alex won 9 4. Yeah. Alex Montpellier against uh, Martin. Patrick. From Patrick from Stankiewicz. Poland. Patrick from Poland, sorry. And uh, Alex. Second French representative through to yeah. the quarterfinals. We have the nation, the most, the most representative. Na Alongside, well, yeah, the Netherlands could have had a few more players, but. Oh. With these surprise results, it looks like they're just going to have the one. See, UG got a, a roll. You got a roll. Yeah. Took until rack seven. So the score appears to have reset. Should be reading 7 0. One way first, maybe two. Two is better. We can counter safe very easily to. Uh, but wow. not from behind, from the the left, yeah. the right side of the of the ball. That's okay. From the, from behind, most of the time you will make a foul. Finally, UGC is going to get on the board. Oh, don't talk to seven one. Don't talk uh, to the result before the before the result. Is it okay? I think my grandmother yeah. could make that nine ball. <laughs> <laughs> Did your grandmother play pool? Never. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know. Maybe once okay. or twice. It was cricket. Not as good as WGC. <laughs> That's for sure. Seven-one. Yeah. And Alex Montpellier's reward for that victory is going to be a quarter-final showdown against Tony, the Tornado Drago. Wow. What a game. Big spectacle for Alex. He thoroughly deserves his place in the quarter-finals. What a game. And you never know in nine ball if he can p bring out his A game. He's capable of winning that match. Be coming into the match as the underdog, of course. Now, can Fiji see find some semblance of form in this match, or is it going to be too little, too late? Noel made the one in the side. The five came past the head string. The eight crossed two, so it's a legal break. And the average five just push a little the cue ball on the center of the of the table to give him a nice angle on the two. Paul Gods <laughs> at work here. Wow. He's played next to perfect Paul. Maybe in the last couple of rakes he's played a, a couple of loose shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing to say once about seven nil up. Mm -hmm. You can afford maybe one or two errors. You don't want to make a habit of it. Yeah. Oh, tried to separate the nine and the yes. seven, and that's it was almost a scratch. It was his intention to s to s yeah, separate the nine two and the balls, seven there. two balls, but okay, things could be worse because uh, it was close to to squash the cue ball that's on right. the on the top uh, right corner, so he's pretty okay until then. Yeah. Bang, bang, yeah, the three bang, was bang, bang, bang. pretty straight, so he just had to punch it into the side pocket and leave himself a thin cut or a bank. <laughs> He's been waiting all, all match for a big bank. Come on, Noel. Give us a bank. Didn't fancy it, took the safety no. option. A little bit too long, no? Yeah. Yeah, he wanted to hide behind the seven and the nine. Two-way, two-way shot. You understand his frame of mind there. He didn't want to 
Didn't want to take an unnecessary risk with a, yeah. a bank shot that might have been sure. lower percentage, not 100% certainty. Oh, nice and shot. the seven and the nine tied up. Nice yeah, shot from Ujila. It is a good safety. And yeah. It's the first time I think we've seen him really take a few extra seconds on the shot mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. think about the, uh, the safety there. Noel. Standing above the table, nods his head, thinks he can get through directly to touch the outside of the four. Could he even try and make this in the bottom left? Wow. No. He uh, played the safety, which was probably smarter. Uh, yeah, but that's, <laughs> that's, that's, sold not, out. that's not a good. Uh, to me, not only sold out, but solved the problem of the seven and the nine in yeah, the same but moment. He had, he had time to do He had time to do that. I mean, the, the most important thing was to touch it, and uh, he, he made it, but without too much, enough, without enough control, I would say. So, watch out for the, of the position for the, for the seven, yeah. Yep, he shows where he put his cue down on the table. That's where he wants to get to. He's going to be putting this in with a bit of power, a bit of punch to stand across. Okay. Drawing back out now for the eight ball. And we're going okay. to have a 7 2 scoreline in just a moment. Wow. Not the best shot. Yeah, not the best uh, positional shot. Okay. And Eugene need uh, some confidence and some easy shots to come back, so... Okay, he's okay. 7-2. And if Eugene is... Uh, becoming the Eugene we... The Eugene we, we knows. We know, sorry. Uh, if he is coming uh, back to his routine and to his rhythm, I think uh, he has a, he's got a, he still got a chance for this game, but he has to. Yeah, he has to play perfect pull now himself and hope that Noel makes some mistakes. Break looks good. Three ball dropped. Wing ball. One ball sitting nicely over the side pocket. And the two also sitting in the top right. Question now is how to get from two to four. Yeah. He's got options to play it either in the top left corner or the side on the right hand side of the table. Might be able to float over for that into the right hand side. When the ball's sitting deep in the pocket like that, it can be tricky to play position off of it. What do you like here, Christoph, on the two? Rail first, float over for the four into the side. Mm -hmm. no, Maybe on the on the left of the, 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 the two balls with some spin. In order to go away, to go away of the a little of the of the long rail. He made it, and we he has a, a, a shot. Watch out to your speed on that one. Very nice. Very nice, maybe a little bit straight. I think he's got some angle anyway. Yeah, he's got some angle to work with here. Top right hand uh, side spin. Yeah. Out to rails and come on, don't be short. Good measure of the speed. Don't be short. Similar follow stroke to get from six to seven.
got a nudge on the eight, and that's put him in trouble. Not sure he absolutely needed to. Yeah. Wow. Play the contact. Yeah. Oh, we bank, called a bank. bank we called wow. for it. We've been asking for a bank shot for a while now. So. Uh, yes. Very nice, Pete. Beautiful bank on the eight ball. Here you see. He's come out of his slumber. Seven two. He won two. Seven three. Seven three. Seven two. Seven three. Seven three. Seven three. Three in a row. Just testing me, weren't you? <laughs> Just Making to see sure if you are still if you are still focused on the. It's been a long on day. The screen. Yeah. Commentating. Yeah. For you, I've not I've for me. I've been here longer than you. Yeah. Yeah. It was your turn. Did you have a good sleep? I did. It's good. You can be in good shape for the the final, the semi-final. Yeah. And. I'm thinking that uh, after this game we will have another quarter-final. If I can, uh, can judge uh, by the, the other games. Nothing, uh, nothing in progress. Did that two ball cross the head string? So we are gonna have to see uh, maybe uh, Alex with uh, Tony or. Oh, I saw this is uh, Iman, maybe. He made two balls on the break, plus a one ball across the headstring and then headed back out. I was wondering about the yeah. two, but didn't make a difference in the end. Pretty Some enticing draw. layout here. Some draw on this one. Play thicker than usual. Now he, sh he, sh he has Run chosen to a follow little a little after contact. In order to have a, a good angle on the tube, make, making uh, two ways after contact, and to have a, a three on the right side of the pocket. Mark Bistabosh is warming up on the next table alongside. He made a 9 0 shutout in his last 16 match against Boris Lee. So he's probably had a, some time to rest in between matches. What do you think? Step shot? Safety shot? Or is he going to have to go for it on the right uh, side no, bucket? I think he's going to follow the cue ball through. Three up into the top right, follow through with the cue ball. Go. He got just about where he wanted to on the position for the five. Chance to get on the hill now for Noel. Well, guys, we just learned that you had uh, a black screen. Since in 30, 30 minutes on the live stream on YouTube. Uh, sorry for that, we just fixed that. And normally you have uh, the live back online now, now with uh, this match between Noel Brunog from Belgium and UGC from Netherlands. Sorry for this new uh, issue. Yeah, if you're just joining us and haven't been able to watch the action. Noel opened up a 7-0 lead in this quarter-final match, really playing some flawless pull. Huiji made some pretty uh, critical errors, giving Noel opportunities, which he took advantage of. Mm. And now it's the score's back to 7-3. We started seeing the Huiji C that we are familiar with. Yeah, but uh, Huiji played pretty out of rhythm. Yeah, he was and, uh, getting down on the shot, not yeah. really walking around the table, having a look. He 
didn't take much time and as a result made some careless mistakes. But since uh, about 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes, he's back on his rhythm and things are maybe uh, a little uh, better for him. Ow. And uh, Noel uh, is making one of his first mistake of the game, maybe the second one, the second big one. I think. Similar scratch to uh, a few racks ago when he scratched, leaving two balls on the table. And PG now brings the score back to 7 4. It was a, a good pot. He made the ball cleanly in the top right corner, middle of the pocket. He just didn't. He wanted to hit the cue ball a little bit lower and contact the left hand long rail under, underneath the side pocket. to final matches just getting underway in the next table yeah. is Mark Vistebosch against yeah. Joel Cardozo Netherlands against Portugal Alex Montpellier and Tony Drago are warming up they're about to get underway and we've also got Vincent Faquet and Imran Majid coming up France against England taking a short break in our Match timeout from Noel. Okay, the third break. Out there, seven four. Okay, seven in a row for Noel, four in a row for G. And the momentum has changed, especially because uh, G is back on his rhythm and his routine, and also because uh, of a couple of mistakes from Noel. So, what do you think, Joe? Yeah, it's uh, it's understandable that Noel chose to take a break after that big scratch he wants to gather his thoughts stay calm the fact of the matter is the break is now with Hugh G 7-4 down yeah. if he can make this 7-5 Noel's really going to start feeling the heat within a couple of racks after the big cushion he had earlier on at 7 rack advantage I'm still liking Noel to close this one out because I think he will get enough opportunities to win the two racks he needs. Especially if that cue ball drops, oh. which it does. Oh. That's a main point for the future of this game. Yeah, now just the three go the has left. to needs to, to keep Noel under pressure. Or to feel, to feel uh, that she's able to maybe to break a little uh, the rhythm of no answer. So it's not a good thing now. Three and nine. Yeah, that's the, and the ball that seems I'm to be at. as a cluster. Uh, we saw Noel trying to uh, to play two balls uh, during uh, maybe a part of a frame, the seven and the uh, and the nine, I think. Yeah, nearly scratched. Yeah, and uh, he lost he lost his game during this frame. I mean, they and uh, in. He almost crutches the, the, the cue ball. So, maybe we'll have another episode. 
the same problem to solve. Maybe we'll choose this time to to get in position and make a safety on three. No. Okay, once again he went for for the separation of the balls. Is he is okay. The angle is not the is just one that is okay. Yeah, it's a makeable cut on the three. But can't risk selling out after a miss because PG would be in with a chance of getting closer. played. Next thing he has to consider is the five ball and whether it passes the eight into the corner pocket there or if he alternatively has to play some kind of combination shot. Just looking at that right now, seems to have made his mind up. Just missed the four, played it slow, rolled mm. it. Mm, 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 mm. It was difficult to roll a ball in like that from distance. You would have expected him to make yeah, it. Either. Something has changed for Noel. Yeah, he's not more got the same confidence tense. as earlier in the match. Yeah. Yeah. If Fiji can get to... within just two racks, then you really might start believing that the comeback is on. Gonna be seven five, folks. Here we are. Confidently Here struck we in. Go. Seven five. Wow. Wow. You see how O can turn a nine ball game. That's absolutely right. been a game of two halves so far. First half dominated by Noel Brunoig. Took the first seven rags to race out into a 7-0 lead. PGC has since taken five on the spin. A couple of mistakes from the Belgian. Allowed mm -hmm. his counterpart back into the match. And yeah. things, Noel now things were easy. breaking. Things were easy for Noel at the beginning. And now uh, things are odd. And uh yeah, he's not getting the same results on the break as he was at the start of the match, that's for sure. Nothing down. Yeah, an open table. Except the one. It's not easy to to pocket, so maybe we can expect a safety shot from your G. We have a big separation between the two balls, you can see. And just to hide that one ball. No 
Moore's kicking at this over the top rail. And such is the change in his luck. It's going to be a foul. Four or five balls mo moved on that shot, but none of them made contact with the rail. So uh, Noel is uh, scratching his head. Can't seem to get any luck at the moment. Ball in hand for VGC. Two rack deficit, but that can change in no time at all. Mm -hmm. Where is the uh, safety behind the six and the seven? Exactly. Yep, and just look at the position of the six ball as well, stopping the kick route off of one rail. This is going to be pretty, pretty tricky. Mm -mm. Let me go in two rails. Oh, yeah. Good contact. With a lot of speed in order to uh, create something else after contact. Yeah, and where the cue ball and one ball are so close together there, it's no easy pot opportunity. Safety taken by Fuji here. He has left the cut on into the corner. Should no want to take it on. Mm -mm. Tricky table, this Christoph. Yeah, tricky table, but you know, just with one shot, you can separate the three balls who you have on the top uh, right side of the table. So Hard to see how he could do it with the one ball though, and that's why he chooses Not with this safe. one, but with one shot, maybe the, from the four, or from the three, from the, you know? So, up first, so far, the, the table is a little bit complicated, but we can, we can make some good safety shots because of the position of the balls. You can use it as a, for a tactic battle, you know? Yeah, this tactical battle is going to be crucial in the story of this match. If Noel can take, take it, he's going to be on the hill. If if it goes to 7-6, he's going to feel Fiji breathing down his neck. And no doubt that it's Fiji who's feeling the more positive of the two players at the moment. Oh, look at it. You want to try the, the combo, carom mode, very thin on the one, and uh, try to come back to, to the nine ball. Let's say that safety is the main priority and anything else is a bonus, well, eh? This was an ID. Yeah, he tried to get him behind the eight. He was the eight as a stopper in the end. And tactical exchanges continue. Just nudge the right hand side of the one. Oh, <laughs> Cubo looked to have stopped. Yeah. Wow. Looked to have stopped, and Fiji has got a smile on his face, but you know that inside he's going to be uh, going to be very disappointed with that. Cubo thought about stopping and then dropped. So he's aiming at the nine here. Uh, he heard me. He heard he me. It, he really was going for that. Yeah. And, wow. Well, I mean, the, it's all well and good to try and play the nine ball, but the, uh, the one was not safe, and that needed to be the real priority. 
neither player able to play a really effective safety so far. Mm -hmm. Try to play the nine again. <laughs> Just kidding. Very thin this time. Okay. Now. Yeah, we didn't. Uh, much better. Safety. We didn't see the the exact angle he's got on the on the on the on the ball, so it's just, it was hard to predict. But okay, is very nice shot. Is gonna pot the nine ball? It looks like he's thinking about it. Risky if he doesn't pot the nine because he. Yeah, but the two leave the a possible combination. The blue two, the blue, yeah, sure. Okay, so he's going for it. Made wow. the contact. Wow. He that was it. risky because the nine ball sitting yeah. invitingly in the pocket there. He's got another roll. Yeah. Momentum has changed. That's for sure. En français, les mouches ont changé d'âne. In English? The momentum is changed. <laughs> No flowery language from us. Well, poetry is not, is not a bad thing, no? Sure. Noel Gruenig looked like poetry in motion in the first half of this match. Now he's looking like he's in a yeah. tragedy. Yeah, this game is a story anyway. So. This is about more than just pool people. This yeah. is a battle of wills and minds. Yeah. Yeah, the five sitting right on the one ball like that prevents him from making <coughs> any attempt at a pot. I have to Sorry. bring out a safety somehow. Cubo goes around. I wonder if he was dreaming about knocking the nine ball in with the cue mm, ball there. No, 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 he didn't play the, the speed for that. I don't think he, he was uh, targeting the nine ball after contact with the one. Looks like if the other ball on the table hadn't been in the way, he would have been heading towards the nine, but as it results, he's left a shot on for VGC. He's going to be shooting this blind into the pocket. Round one, two, three. Rails collides with the four and mm -hmm. falls on the two ball. And there, uh, from there, a combo on the nine. Carom combo. It's an option. Stunning the cue ball over. He's going to have a look hey. at it, I think. Uh -huh. but he needs to make sure of the two. Can't sell anything out. Left ended. He'll just leave the two behind the seven okay. there and play safe. No chance for the combo. So very thin. Maybe too oh, he's thin. Yeah, he's left a yeah. path through. Too thin. Bosch is 4 1 up on the next table along against Raul Cardozo. Tony Drago has a three rack lead of Alex Montpellier. <coughs> the favourites leading so far in those two quarter finals. Here, the favourite is behind by two racks, but he's come from a long way down at 7 0 to give himself a real fighting chance of. Seeing what would be an amazing comeback win. Okay. Uh, watch out to the when you will get out of this position. Have to contact on the four. What's to 
What about your quickness? It's okay. Putting easy shot on the five. Uh, all war will be about the position of the black eight right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he's going to get out from here with GC. Hasn't made too many mistakes since he started his comeback 7 0 down. He's had to come from a long way. If he can finish this run out, he's going to be within just one rack. What a story developing. Yeah. Um, you're convincing me. Ooh. Okay. A chance to, to have a contact on the black eight after the six. Depends of the. Uh, you try Ooh. to avoid that. Not far away from making the nine. Yeah. Yeah, now you have to find a position for this black eight. Yeah, he played to avoid the contact with the eight on the last shot. Mm -hmm. As a result, he's pretty thin, firing the seven in around the table. One, and two, gonna, three, four. And rails gone out to be and short. Shorts. And gone out to be short. Yeah, that was a big, uh, oh, wow, big wow, shot wow, to wow, attempt. Wow. He made a. Made a great bank shot earlier in the match. Does he try a similar one here? A caroma. A caroma. Combo. He went for both of them. And Didn't he got either. nothing. And got nothing. Rattled the eight ball in the bottom right hand corner pocket. And now, Noel, it's over to you. That's a huge, it's a huge opportunity for Noel. This in black. Eight is uh, very, very important for him. He is on five frame against him in a row. So, time to stop the series and to, to go forward in this game. He needs that. Should, should be the ball to see him get on the hill. How's your confidence? God. Wow, wow, that tells a story there. <laughs> wow. That really does tell a story. I think uh, 30 minutes ago, Noel would have made that ball with his eyes closed. Yes, sure. So. Now he's let five wrecks go against him in a row. Shri GC is a mm -hmm. golden yeah. opportunity to make that six in a row and come within one rack and breaking. Okay. Taking his time here. Let the other player on the next table walk past. He's checking the, the angle of the shot as well. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy one because of the score. I mean, five, seven. Against you, you just missed a, a big opportunity. Your opponent have done the same thing, so your turn. And it's pretty, yeah, pretty good shot. Very good shot. And now for a six frame in a row. Here we are. Wow. And Yuji is chasing uh, the fat lady with a hammer, you know. That's right, the fat lady <laughs> looked like she was warming up her vocal cords when Noel Bruyneig was leaning 7-0. Fuji sees answered with six consecutive racks. to come back within one. This could go either way now. And you'd probably make Fuji the slight favorite with the momentum he's got in his favor. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But he needs, he needs uh, to, to be up now. Okay, he came back from nowhere, but he has, he has to... And the five ball just dropped then. Yeah. It was hanging in the pocket. And lucky for Fiji that it did drop because 
Otherwise, Noel would have been shooting at this open one ball. Uh, simply uh, to bank for two-way shots after contact. You have one, two. Don't be straight on this one. Maybe a little bit too straight. I don't know. He check. He's checking the the position. I think uh, doesn't have uh, a lot, but just enough to do what he wants to do. And uh, now, question of uh, accuracy. Watch out the contact after the after the four. Yeah. I'm gonna try and avoid the six here, or maybe nudge it slightly. Yeah. Develop it, and mm. yeah, he's ended up mm. in That's a tricky position. Yeah. Very thin. Could be a uh, queuing right next to the eight ball, but that just shows you the confidence that he's playing with at the moment through GC. Wow. Back in, the perfect, in his rhythm, yeah. Shot. yeah, 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 yeah. And I think the the black eight is Score okay. Score is seven six, by the way, guys. Just uh, in case you're wondering why it shows seven five at the bottom. It's about to become seven seven. How heartbreaking would this be for Noel Brunig to lose from having been seven nil up? So Place in the semi-finals at stake. First time sees zero zero on its way and it is, it wow. is there. So six seven seven, sorry. Wow, wow, wow. Race to two. That's right. Okay, put put a coin on what you want, on which player you will you uh, you will uh, you will uh, you want to to see at the winner. I mean uh, UG is on the on his way for the victory. Noel is defending his position, but he is struggling since uh, seven zero for him. So the logical the logical favorite player is UG. Okay. After making this comeback, yeah, you'd have to. Okay. To say Huiji is the favorite. Yeah. From where we're standing. I remember I told you for about Huiji uh, at the beginning of the of the game. He's the most experienced player. But also he's got some uh, some titles on his way, on his side, big titles. So he knows how to win games, to win uh, huge games, and, uh, and he also knows. How to come back? Yeah, how to handle this kind of of feelings? Being on the everything during a big part of the game and to be wow. unstoppable That's, uh, just after. It's quite yeah, he's amazing. He's gone into beast mode. Yeah. Illegal break from no. Everything seems to be going wrong for him since. He led 7-0, made a couple of balls on the break, but nothing went past the head string. And now we could see a complete reversal of fortunes. Mm -mm. It looked unthinkable at 7-0 that QGC would be able to not only get back into the game, but lead. And that is the reality now. First Four lead. balls separating yeah. him. Oh my word. Wow. <laughs> what to say about that? Uh, it was yeah, it was I said nothing was going right yeah, for yeah, but and uh yeah, may, that's this kind this kind of just 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 made Five ball too into short, the I think. Too short, I think, Where's on the this shot. Now? Yes, yeah. that's right. But uh, the safety shot is pretty obvious, uh, I think. And I don't think they either he's gonna to, to play the, the bank on this shot, even a two way shot. I don't think so. Just to keep the, the, the cue ball behind the, behind the nine. 
but missing missing this the five ball on the on the top left corner for for UG and let him inside the pocket oh my god it was a, it was a tragedy for him after a such effort during the game and uh, okay forget it because finally the five ball is down we have another situation to to manage to me yeah and you've seen safety shot PG taking his time in this rack after he after that five ball just dropped oh he yeah. took a long time is he gonna go at this he go, for, he, he go uh, for the bank he went for it God. And he's maybe gonna get fortunate oh, to not leave anything what was his choice took a long time thinking about that shot and decided that the bank was his best option he is very lucky when he had a a pretty realistic safety which he could have played yeah he's pretty lucky for, uh, for about the result of uh, this yeah, uh, this shot ended up just right and Noel has pulled an excellent bank shot and Noel yeah, okay he's gonna have to pay UG is gonna have to pay because the choice before wasn't the good, the good the good one to me because of the situation he's coming back from nowhere the pressure is on Noel keep the guy's under pressure. Keep it. Keep it. Keep, keep him under under pressure. You have to do that. Play your safety shot. I don't know. I'm not with DC, but uh. Noel Brunig is on the hill. Is this match going to see another twist? Yeah. What's been an incredible story so far? Yeah. Seven racks. On the spin for Noel at the start of the match. Seven for Huiji. Followed up to draw level. Missed bank on the eight ball. Pretty speculative bank from Huiji C. Let Noel back in and he duly fired in a bank into the side pocket. Followed up with a nine and now we're eight, seven. And a great break. Great break from Huiji. Got a good chance to bring us to Hill Hill if he can run out from here. And guys, the score is 8 7 for Noel. Don't trust the scoreboard below the, the screen. Now he's come a bit far there, Huiji. This is a thinner cut than what he would have hoped for, but certainly more than makeable. He's going to go up and down the table on this. Yeah, but what Where's he going to shoot the seven in the side? Yeah, Looks sure. Yeah, stop now. Stop, 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 Cuba stop. Travel he is okay. He is okay. He is perfect. That two lengths of the table with that shot. Oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Eight and the nine remain. Good. Nice draw stroke to finish straight on the nine, and we're going to go hill hill, folks. What a match! Third tile, the third tile of the game. Right now, here we PG go. PG really could have had this match sealed had he chosen to play a safety in the previous rack. As it is, it's going to be no breaking. No, it's going to take a few deep breaths before this break. to make a legal break and ideally have a shot on the ball afterwards how about the golden break right now Christoph mm, I don't believe to the golden break at this moment I'm believing to a um, illegal break at this moment legal or illegal illegal 
One ball in the side. Four goes past the head string, but nothing else. That's an illegal break. It's like your psychic. Control passes. Well, Noel is... Uh, looked like he was disputing the uh, call there. Seems a little bit surprised. But we can confirm it wasn't a legal break. Only one ball passed the head string and one ball went into the side pocket. Yeah. So, VGC faced with an open table. Mm. Is he going to snatch this victory from the jaws of defeat? Uh, yeah. Sorry for Noel for the prediction, but uh, illegal breaks are coming uh, often on this table yeah, pretty and common, uh, pretty and hard to get under pressure, you under pressure you over speed your break most of the time and uh, you don't have the, the correct result that's so it was a kind of hunch but nothing more nothing about uh, the quality of the player of course of course surely now there won't be any further twists in this match three balls remaining uh, maybe a little bit short. Up a little bit short. Pocket. He's going to be uh, playing this into the top left, and you have to say that it's still, uh, it's still okay, but that's pretty missable. Watch out. Yeah, great since speed. He got great speed. Since he started this comeback, he really has moved to another gear. He's hardly missed. He's been hitting everything in the center of the pocket, and thank God for him that he did wake up because. Wow. He was so far behind, and to come from 7 0 down to win 9 8 is an impressive turnaround for Huiji C. Wow. Commiserations to Noel Bruno. He played some pretty yeah. amazing yeah. ball at the start of this match. Okay. Noel can be frustrated about the result, but he, he made some big mistakes, crucial mistakes during the game. When he was leading 7 0, 7 1, 7 2. He's got, got some, he got some uh, opportunities, but he, he made some mistakes. And Yuji, uh, Yuji stayed stayed on the game and tried to recompose himself a little because uh, his rhythm wasn't the, the best one. And uh, yes, thrilling games at the end. And uh, as that the most the most famous player, I would I would say, won finally. Yeah, the guy who. Has the more experience of dealing with those pressure, pressure situations, I guess, in high quality, high level matches, pressure tournament situations like this. Uh -huh. Came out on top, 9 8 for QGC. Stick with us on the live stream, everybody. Thank you for watching. We are following the progress of the other quarter final matches which are going on at the moment. We're going to give you an update very quickly once we check with the tournament director to see who will be back on the TV tables. So uh, stay tuned. Yeah, and sorry scores, again. Uh, live scores, tournament brackets are on ebillard.billiardport.com. And sorry again for the black screen during the game. Yeah, we hope you were able us. to at least see the end of the match and the thrilling climax. Thank you to everybody for watching, and we'll be back very soon. Okay, bye -bye. see you, bye.